Hi friends, it's Julia. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Today I'm sharing a layout that I created with my December 2019 Christmas stash. Now the uh, inspiration for this was from Christie's Beautiful Life and it was day number eight. Um, and I don't believe, I don't have it right in front of me, but I don't believe there was a, there was a sketch name. I could be lying to you. Anyway, uh, her sketch had a big heart as the background. And because I am working with Christmas, I really didn't want to do a heart. And so I thought what I would do would be a big package, a Christmas package on my layout. Um, and so that's what you see me doing here. Now, that bow and ribbon came with a freckled fawn kit that I ordered for the month of December. And so I didn't untie the bow. I left it as is and just put that on uh, clipped it at the bottom and I'm going to use it on this layout. Um, and I really wish I had done it a little differently, but you know, it's down now. It's fine. Um, I'm good with it in the grand scheme of things. And so I cut that bottom ribbon in half and I just put some glue down and put it across there. Um, and so I'm using the glue dots to go behind to keep the ribbon, uh, tacked down. And so Rather than place that ribbon around the back side, um, I just clip it off um, and keep that little bit right behind the bow. What I should have done, thinking of it, I should have put it across the top portion to make it look like the top has uh, a ribbon going one way and the bottom has, you you have the, horse, the vertical going down the middle and then a horizontal going across the top is what I should have done, but I didn't. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I like how the overall layout turns out. I'm good with it. And so in the original inspiration layout on Christy's Beautiful Life, she took the heart and made it center page. And I'm going to offset mine, my package down to the bottom corner to some degree. Um, hers had two photos over on one border of the heart. And I'm going to have my two photos there. Um, but I'm going to... Um, put them on the border of the package instead. And so I've cut them down. They are, I think, cut down to four by four. And it's just of a ton of packages that we had um, for the kids for Christmas. I think it was right after we had finished wrapping all of the presents. Um, and I think they were actually still on my Christmas or on my, on my kitchen floor. Uh, but by this point, it was the Christmas floor because my entire kitchen was covered with gift wrap and bows and ribbons and packages. So it was pretty fun. Uh, when we do this every year, we do assembly line um, package wrapping. And so the packages land all over the place in the kitchen before they go under the tree. And so you see they're just added down. I left myself some space down at the bottom because I'm going to add a few little embellishments there. Um, I believe on her layout as well, on the opposite side of the heart, she had a few little embellishments. And so here I had pulled in a couple of tags um, that were in my kit and I uh, am putting some ribbon around those. Um, and I will tack that down here in just a minute um, to the overall package. And again, this one, I wish I had done a little bit different, but it's neither here nor there. Um, I can count it as a done layout for the year. Um, and these are older photos. These are from actually 2013, I believe. And so, you know, it's always great to have them done. And I think that's one of the things that I enjoy most about getting these layouts done is that they are, they go from the photo album onto the scrapbook page and into the scrapbook album so that when the family comes by, not only do they get to see the um the photos of that time, they get to read the stories and the journaling of those times. Now, granted, I, I'm not a big storyteller as far as these layouts go because it's something that um, we do every year. You know, we do this assembly line scrapbooking, and I did do a layout recently of that, and I shared that story because, you know, on each of the layouts that I did for those, I feel like those deserve a little bit more time on the story. Uh, not necessarily the packages themselves. And I did that because that's something that my husband and I share that my kids don't necessarily take part in. Um, and we've always sort of done it this way over the course of years. Um, when the kids have been at school or whatever, when they were young, we would do it at home. Um, 
And now, you know, we just choose a day in December once all the packages that we've ordered have arrived. We sit down and then we do it here. We don't have to wait for them to be at school. <laughs> And so there, I'm putting that there, um, and I'm thinking I'm going to leave it there, but then I end up pulling it off. And it's one of those images that I stamped. And it's just, for some reason, I felt like that needed something else. And I think it's because I had put them at an angle. Um, and when I put that down, it was all fine. But then I changed my mind about it. It doesn't. I think it looks fine the way it is, but um, it's just not how I wanted to leave it. I really couldn't stand that joy being like angled, but that's part of my neuroses, I guess. Um, I have a little bit of OCD um, and it's one of the things that I struggle with in putting layouts together and putting things down. I don't necessarily have to have things matchy matchy, but I also have a difficult time with angling things. And I think that's true in my everyday life as well. Um, when I'm decorating in my home, putting things on an angle is not easy for me. I like things squared off and even, even if they're different things. You know, um, I might have, like in my living room right now, I have a whole vignette on the wall, um, a whole gallery wall with all sorts of stuff on it. And they're all different sizes and shapes. But if you look at it overall, it's a huge rectangle. <laughs> or if you broke it down, it's a square and two smaller rectangles. You know, I mean, so I like that order, even though it's not all the same matchy matchy stuff. Um, I don't have to have like a, a photo, two photos side by side. But when I see people put two photos next to each other and they put one slightly above it without anything like a shelf or anything underneath to kind of balance out the way that that looks it makes me nutty guys truly makes me nutty and I, I yeah I have to turn videos off when that happens I know I know it's just one of those things about me aren't you glad you know that now <laughs> so anyway back to my layout you can see I have really messed around um, and decided I pulled that one little bee jolly off um, and I'm debating on whether I want to take that um, craft color tag off. But that's really where I'm going to put my journaling. So I wanted to leave it there. And you can see as I've gone along, I've tried to do all the journaling as I'm going along on these layouts. I, I don't mind computer journaling, but I also want to get these layouts done in, in my albums. And so handwriting is way okay with me. Uh, my handwriting may not be completely perfect, but it works for me. And I think it's legible where my kids will be able to read it. Um, so as I'm going through, I've added a few little embellishments here and there. I pulled out a ton of stuff that I thought I might want to use on this layout. And so you can see here, I'm putting things around that I have pulled out. Um, and I just try them out in different locations or think about where I'm going to put them and then uh, either put them there or change my mind and put the supplies away. I'm getting close to the end of this layout now because I have so many embellishments already on it. Um, I'm, I'm really getting down to the end. And I wanted to use, because of all the packages in the photos, I wanted to use these little chipboard packages that came in that Chamel uh, embellishment pack. Um, but trying to make it work in how I have things now, um, it's just not working right for me. So I'm going to modify again. I put something down and take something away. Um, so I'm debating on what I'm, how I'm going to do. I've, it's having it like that has created a big gap in there and that's not going to work for me. Um, so what I end up doing is that one little embellishment sticker there. I pull up and I move that package over and it's perfect. Um, I'm okay with how it looks just like that because the little paper piece has a package on it and then the two other package pieces. Um, yeah, so that gives me three packages. So that satisfied my need for three. <laughs> um, I don't necessarily have three embellishment clusters. Um, I do have a bunch of words up at the top of the uh, photo um, on top. And then I have the cluster underneath. And then I have just that one little spot over on the right at the top where it says Noel. And that's okay. 
Um, I want to say thank you to all the people who have uh, tuned in to watch this video and have stuck through to the end. Uh, thanks for sticking around and watching my videos. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one where you use your stash to create layouts, um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that notification bell and it will notify you anytime I put up a new video. Um, the other thing is if you like this video or like videos like this, I would love it if you would flip me a thumbs up. Not necessarily, not necessarily necessary by any means, but I would just love it if you would, if you enjoy this. It lets me know what you guys are thinking or feeling about the layouts that I create. Um, it's all good in my eyes. Um, so yeah, I love that I'm able to get um, my photo scrapbooks um, and into scrapbook albums so that my family can actually read the little stories that go along with, with the photos. And so uh, stick around my channel because I plan to do more videos, Christmas layouts coming up through the month of December and January. Um, and so... Uh, in order to do that, I really have to get busy and get some more creating done. Um, anyway, um, like I said, I would love it if you guys subscribed and I would love it if you would flip me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next video. You have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.